At number one at Green Street. Oh, good luck. Thanks.
cut their nails. They look dangerous. I think I have something to solve this problem. All done! 
Nice going, Pat. Here's your money, honey. Thanks, Trixie. Well, hey there. What do you want? I would like to mow your lawn. Hot dog. My lawn's gonna get cut. Uh, is there something I can do to help you? I would like to mow your lawn. Mow my lawn? Lovely idea. Go right ahead. That was a beautiful job. I am pleased to reward you with this coin. Thanks, Mrs. Bumper. I wonder if there's anybody else who would like their lawn mode. I wonder if there's any... Thank <laughs> you. 
over there. 108 million kilometers from the sun. I didn't know that. by some 
just want to go home. Thanks, Rover. I wish there was something I could do. Listen, kid, you're just my feet. Now follow me. I have an idea.
looking for Robbie Raider. Oh, he just left. Radar. Can I help 
It's very nice to see you again, little one. <laughs>
Yesterday, Mr. Firebird accidentally fell into his time machine and was jettisoned a hundred years into the future. He returned today to report that life in the future is well worth sticking around for. Today at 5 on Channel 5, tune in to Fortunate Wheels. You'll see Cartown's Mrs. Airbag spin the wheel for a chance at winning a set of custom gold-plated hubcaps. Clowns, trapeze, artists, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my! Yes, the most astounding circus show on the planet opens tonight in Apple Valley. Don't miss out on the fun! my gas gauge. Okay, we've got a long drive to the circus. We better get going. Apple Valley, here we come. Hey, it's a goat. He sure is cute. Sure wish that goat would move. Why, I can't budge a bit. Say, I don't believe we've met. The name's Cassidy. Roll along, Cassidy. Glad to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, howdy, Putt-Putt. Say, would you be able to find something to move this goat off the track? He looks hungry to me. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Stuff to the surface. Sawdust. Tons and tons of sawdust. Oh. oh no. There goes my ticket to the circus. I don't have any money for a new one. Now what am I going to do? You're gonna hop right on my freight car. I'm taking you straight to the big top circus in Apple Valley, but but I'm sure we can figure out a way to get you into that circus ticket or no ticket. Gee, thanks, Cassidy. Did you hear that, Pat? We're getting a train ride to the circus. Hot Ziggity, this is great. Here we are. Wow, I can't believe I'm at the circus. Yep. 
BJ Sweeney's genuine big top shirts. And BJ's just the one you need to talk to about your little ticket problem. BJ Sweeney, the ringmaster? Wow! Where do I find him? Right next to the gate, my friend. I'm sure he'd be happier than a hand to help you out. I sure hope so. Well, thanks again for the ride, Cassidy. Well, we must go through about 15 tons of this year's sawdust every year. Well, the animals use it for everything from their beds to their bathroom. Oh my goodness! Best of luck to you, my friend. <laughs> oh my goodness! You must be BJ Sweeney, the most famous ringmaster in the world! You don't look too happy. Of course I'm not happy. I have a really big show to put on tonight. A spectacular spectacle meant to curl your tailpipe and put a spin in your tires. <laughs> I'm afraid the show can't go on. <laughs> Why not? Because everything's a jumble mess. <laughs> when we pulled in here, nothing got put in the right place. All my five main acts are crying mutiny, and the other acts are having problems too. Here are the five main acts. Honkle the Clown, the Flying Porkowski, Philippe the Flea, Reginald the Lion, and Katie Cannonball. This circus is doomed. Maybe I can help you. By the way, my name's Putt-Putt. Thanks, Putt-Putt. Here, take this. Maybe it will help. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. BJ Sweeney. I'll do my best to make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. If you help me get this circus up and running, you'll have free circus tickets for life. That's great, since, uh... A goat kind of ate my ticket. Wow! I'm actually inside the big top! I should take a look around. Get your peanuts! Get your fresh, hot, roasted peanuts! Mmm! That sounds good! How much are you selling your peanuts for? Usually these peanuts sell for, uh, peanuts! Less than a nickel! But today, because it's open tonight, I'm giving them away! If you take on the peanut challenge and win! The peanut challenge? What's that? Yeah, take a closer look at my peanut gallery and I'll explain. Okay, here's how the game works. You got ten peanuts in your pile to toss to those hungry tin cars. If you can feed three cars, you will win your own jumbo bag of fresh hot roasted peanuts. On your mark, get set, throw! And for that astounding win, you get one jumbo bag of fresh hot roasted peanuts absolutely free from me, bought the peanut cart, home of the peanut challenge. One bag per customer. Wow, thanks a lot. Hey, what are you going to do now that you won them? Gobble them up in seconds flat? No, I'm not hungry right now. I think I'll save them for later. That's a very wise decision. You might find someone you want to share them with. Whoa! Has the circus started already? No, I'm early. I'm helping Mr. Sweeney to get his axe ready for the show. Hey, I could use some help. Big time. I'm Lester. Pleased to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. What's the problem? My boss, Philippe. Philippe the Flea. 
He has fled with his fellow flea followers to where I do not know. He's a tad upset about the condition of his small umbrella tent here. As you can see, it's a mess. Maybe I can find him for you. Well, then you're going to need this. And see if you can find him a new tent while you're at it. Thanks, Lester. Sorry, you can't go back there. Or over there, for that matter. Why not? You need security clearance. Can't let just anybody backstage, you know. How do I get security clearance? Take this backstage security pass and get it authorized and signed off in triplicate by the proper authorities. Who are the proper authorities? I'm not sure, but I'll know it when I see it. All I do know is that it has to be proper. Okay, I'll see what I can do. By the way, I'm Putt-Putt. Uh, hello, Putt-Putt. The name's Hank. Excuse me, Mr. Sweeney. Hank the security car said I needed an authorized signature in triplicate before he'd let me go backstage. Can you do that? Of course I can. Good to see he's doing his job. Ah, that's my life. Paperwork. Here you go. Your backstage security clearance. Thanks! Here you go. In triplicate. Look at that. B.J. Sweeney's signature. Can't get any more proper than that. Go right in any time you want to. Gee, thanks. An umbrella. This doesn't belong here. I should find who it belongs to and return it to them. There, catnip. Here's a joke coming at you. Okay, hit me, Rato. <laughs> nah, I meant with a joke. Sheesh, you're always clowning around. Hey, it's my job. See if this tickles your funny bone. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Wanda. Wanda who? Wanda pie in the face, catnip? <laughs> Honko the Clown! Hi, Honko! I wonder what he's trying to say. I need to find a way to understand Honko. Wow! The clowns must use this for putting their costumes together! Hi! Feet unlike any you've ever seen. Why, Bob? Everything is a mess. 
What's the problem? It's my magic cards. They're supposed to be in pairs, and I don't know which one goes with which. Until they're just right, I won't be able to do my famous card trick. Oh, I bet I can help you with that. That, my friend, would be simply marvelous. Thank you for this. You, I have a feeling, are about to save me. My, my magic show, my entire career. I'll do my best. I wonder which cards match up. A star. A magician's hat. No, those don't match. A rabbit. A magician's hat. A magician's hat. A magician's hat. Great, they match. A star. A star. A juggling club. Juggling ball. A rabbit. A rabbit. Juggling ball. Juggling ball. That's funny. There's no match for this one. I'd better tell Marvin about that. I'm all done. But this card was left over, Marvin. It didn't have a match. Ah, the juggling club. The match for that card got lost when we were playing Peoria. That, my friend, is all yours if you like it. Gee, thanks! Ah, ah, not so fast. You deserve much more than a mere card. After all, you saved my show. Mambo Jumbo, Hocus Pocus, Dominocus. A chicken? No, that's not right. Let's see. Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, Diddly Ocus. <laughs> there we go. I thought I lost my touch. A genuine juggling club. All for you. Wowie zowie! Thanks! Top circuit. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Hey, it looks like half of a recipe. I'd better hang on to it. I bet Mr. Sweeney wouldn't mind if I borrowed this saw. It might be good for fixing things around the circus, as long as I'm very careful with it. Inside. 
Open Sesame! Here we go, Pep! This new costume looks ridiculous. It gives undignified. You, Reggie, could never in a million years look undignified. No way, no how, Reggie. Honest. What do you think about this travesty of a costume? It, uh, looks like you're ready to go swimming. Swimming? No, of course. It's a bathing suit. Why, it's a mistake. This is going off immediately. Good riddance. Yeah, do you have any need for this? Sure, it might come in handy. And maybe I can find your costume for you. Oh, thank goodness. Mine is a regal costume, fit for a king. Pardon me, but I don't believe you've had the pleasure. I'm Reginald Cornelius Andronicles the Third, And these are my assistants, Carrie and Marie. Charm. A pleasure. I'm Putt-Putt. Thank you for doing this, Putt-Putt. I need that costume for tonight. Yeah, without it, the show won't go on. Now I've learned acrobatic art. Across the desert, dry and sunny. Could I please have some cotton candy? We used to run the serengeti. I barely feel like some spaghetti. Come on, you two, let's sing now and eat later. Okay, everybody. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. It be gone, we go. And city lights. A different audience every night. We might be so slightly tiny. We keep our costumes bright and shiny. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. We thought that we'd be having so much fun. We get to sing and dance. We get to jump in front. And our light plays to sleep. And plenty to eat. But when the show is done. In the circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus, the circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. This must be where they do all the construction for the circus. I am Buzzsaw. I can cut anything with my sharp blade. Pick a shape to cut. Hmm, that saw doesn't seem to have a blade. Maybe this saw will help. Now Buzz can cut wood for fixing things around the circus. I'm Sebastian, the juggling seal. Wait, I think I've got it this time. Not again. Wow, that looks difficult. Believe it or not, right now it's harder than it looks keeping this ball in the air. Usually, I have four juggling clubs. But I do what I can. It's all I can do. Hey, if I make a fool out of myself tonight, they'll just have me perform with the clowns. Could be worse. I found a juggling club for you, Sebastian. Fantasmic! Woohoo! I can't wait to get that juggling club. Here you go, Sebastian. One juggling club. Splendiferous! It looks just like old Sebastian the Juggling Seal's juggling club. Woohoo! That is great! Here, have a ball. Gee, thanks. 
No, gee, thanks to you. Woohoo! You did me a great favor. I'm a phantasmic juggling genius once again. Oh, hello. You come to watch Bilo Brodnik dance? He's wild and crazy. It sure is. Oh, you take break, guys, okay? Who are you talking to? Oh, bunch of fleas. Into my fur they moved and now they are disco dancing just like Bilo Brodnik. Wow. Mr. Sweeney said that Felice the Flea from his flea act needed some help. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe Felice is in your fur. I could find him and talk to him. Good, and help I could be too. Are these fleas are very nice and polite bunch, but between you and me they're a little itchy. And they make me dance this crazy disco. I need to practice my act for big top tonight. Well, you know what? I have the perfect thing I can use to see them and find Felice if he's in there. Oh, very good. Okay, Bella Brodnik, let me see if I can find Felice. Best of luck to you. Whoa! Look at all those fleas! I wonder where Philippe is. I need to find him. <laughs> Philippe the flea, is that really you? You are looking at him. One and oh. I suppose you have come to ask me to return to my ring in the big top? But sadly, I cannot. You see my pet? It is falling apart. Such a star like myself simply cannot work in such an inferior place. Oh, I promised Lester I would find a new tent for you, so everything is going to be okay. So you and your fleet troop can come with me, and after I find your new tent, I'll take you back to the big top. This is such a kind offer, Putt Putt. I would gladly accept, but we can only travel in style. We would need something warm, something furry, something I have spotted the perfect creature! Come on, everybody! It's okay, Pep. It's just for a little while. And they're very nice, please. Oh, goodness me. Milo Bronick says thank you very much. Now I can dance to my own beat and practice my dancing for Big Top Show tonight. Where did you learn to dance like that? An old bear named Petrovsky, he taught me before he left Moscow in circus to dance with Bear Shoy Ballet. the other half of the recipe I found. Wow! Pectoral de Stromband secret recipe. I wonder what it could be. Pot pot? Baby Jumbo? How come you're not in the car town zoo? I'm traveling with the circus this summer. And guess what? I'm not a scaredy elephant anymore. That's great. I learned how to paint pictures all by myself. What do you think, Putt Putt? They're really good pictures, Baby Jumbo. My mama says I have talent. I can even paint you if you want. Oh, that would be fun. Lemon yellow. Here it comes. Oh, boy. This is going to look great. You're all done. Wowie zowie, that's great. I don't 
That umbrella is way too big to be a flea tent. I think I need to find something smaller. I hope you don't think it's too bold of me to ask, but do you know a little something about music? Maybe a little bit. Why? See, I'm the circus orchestra, the circus conductor, and the circus accompaniment, all rolled into one. And I've got a couple of teensy little problems. My pipes are all mixed up, and it seems like I have some old translation book stuck in them. I figure, if someone can set my pipes right, I can get up enough steam to get that book out. I can help you with that. Oh, that is music to my ears. Now the key here is to arrange my pipes from the lowest note to the highest note. Okay, I'll try it. By the way, since you're being so helpful and all, I should introduce myself. I'm Bet Bandwagon. I'm Putt Putt. Well, Putt Putt, glad to meet you. Okay, remember, arrange my pipes so they go from the lowest sounding note to the highest sounding note. The green light means that the pipe is in the correct spot. The red light means that the pipe is in the wrong spot. I think that most of the pipes are already in the right spot. for fixing my pipes. You're welcome, Bet. How about a little song? Sure. Cannon accompaniment. When you hear the cannon go boom, you best give it plenty of room. The cheers of the crowd are not even as loud till it's time for the show to resume. I hope you come to help. I have. I'm Putt-Putt. Mr. Sweeney asked me to help out. Oh, Putt-Putt. Hello, I'm Katie Cannonball. And I'm just having the hardest old time remembering how to set my little cannon here. I fly out of it in the show, but if it's not set right, oh, there's no telling where I'd wind up. Maybe even the moon. How do you usually set it up? Usually, I have my cannon plan. You know, a little blueprint. It shows how to set my cannon. But they seem to be missing. Do you think you could help me find them? Sure, no problem. Oh, good. Meanwhile, I'll just fiddle around with this thing. Mm -hmm. This 
translation book will be perfect for talking to Honko the Clown. Huh. I wonder what he's trying to say. Let me see. Your suspenders ate scrambled eggs. I didn't think that sounded right. You missed taking a bath in bear hair. I didn't think that sounded right either. Wait a minute. I bet this is it. You're missing your nose. Well, if that's it, then I just might have something that will work. Here you go, Honko. It's a little red ball. Will this do the trick? You're welcome, Honko. I was happy to help. See you in the big top. Wowie zowie! I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, the Flying Porkowski's Trapeze Act, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. Wow, that trailer must belong to Pectoral the Strong Man. Maybe he got so strong because he eats all those fruits and vegetables. Wait a minute, I think maybe I can make the power shake in there. This is the place to make the power shake, all right. Hmm, now what is it supposed to have in it again? Pectoral the Strong Man's secret recipe. Asparagus, spinach, and pears. Asparagus. Pears! All full! Wow, this is a powerful drink! I think I'll save the rest for later. Look what I have! Fresh, hot, roasted peanuts! Peanuts? Am I still dreaming? This is wonderful! Why, I can't believe my old elephant eyes! Is that really you, Putt-Putt? It sure is, Mama Mobasa! Honey, it is so good to see you! Baby Jumbo and I are working with the circus this summer, and my sweet boy is having the time of his life. I already saw him, Mama Mubasa. Oh, you did? Did you see his wonderful paintings? I sure did. They were great. That's my boy. Such an imagination. I borrowed that net from someone, but I don't remember who. I can return that for you, Mama Mubasa. BJ Sweeney asked me to help out with the circus.
getting tight. Hey, that's Francine, the famous hippo high diver. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. What are you doing way up there? Practicing my dive, or at least my form. The pool is dry as the desert, so I can't jump. Why don't you put some water in it? I suspect it wouldn't do a lick of good. There's a hole the size of Apple Valley in there. It's a hole in the shape of a circle. Maybe I can fix it for you. If you do that, Putt-Putt, you'll be my hero. I'm raring to go here. Hongo sure puts on a great show. All his practicing will pay off when the show starts.
I whipped up Pectoro's secret power shake. Would you like it? You whipped up a power shake for me? Ivan the semi-strong van? Oh, I've been needing one of those all day. Thanks. Come to Papa. Now I feel strong. Wowie zowie. That power shake is really powerful. Okay, watch this. That is great. Lifting a ton is easy with Petro's secret power shake recipe. Especially for a semi-strong van like me. Now I could do this all day, all night. Great, I got him! The plans for Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act! So sure be happy to see these! I think this platform goes all the way up to the high wire. I wonder what's up there. Here I go! Do you need some help? The name's Eunice, and do I ever! I am having the toughest time trying to balance on this practice wire. Never happened before! I am baffled! I can tell you that! I might have something you can use to help you balance, Eunice. Well, this is my lucky day, isn't it? Can't wait to see what it is! Here, do you think this big umbrella will help? Well, it just may. Let's see. Here, you hold this little fella. That's what the problem was. Now that I think about it, that other umbrella looks awfully tiny. This is the umbrella I use in my app. I see that now. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you want me to do with this other umbrella? Keep it. I have no need for it. I can tell you that. Thanks. Well, as I always say, if at first you don't succeed, try a new umbrella. Hey, Eunice, what's that wrench for? It tightens that loose wire. I've been trying to fix it all morning. But as they say, it takes two to tighten. I think the bolt's a little rusty. Maybe I can help you tighten it. You're on! Okay, ready when you are. Ooh, I think we got it! Great! Now if you want, you can drive across the high wire. That's what the second wire is for. It's for you four-wheelers. Me, I only need one. Gee, thanks. Eunice, do you mind if I drive across the wire? Just come on through when you're ready! Ooh. I sure am high up! Wowie zowie! performing without a safety net. Tell him the flying Porkowskis won't do it. We refuse to fly through the air on the trapeze with the greatest of ease if we don't have a safety net. You know what? I might just have it. Woohoo! It's our safety net! Thanks a bunch! Uh, we've been wondering what happened to that. Well, now you can perform safely. The flying pork house can fly again. Come on, Mom. Come on, Paul. I'm going to practice my flying upside down trick. Okay, Hammy, we're coming. Fake 
forgive. No problem. Oh boy, I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. I can't wait to see the Flying Fortality Act. Soon, Reginald. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Reginald Cornelius Andronicles the Third can go on the stage of Dam. We've no time to waste. We have a rehearsal to attend. Thank you, Pud Pud. Yeah, you're a real pal. See you at the show. You got it. Great. I need to help Mr. Swift. Here, Lester. Will this work for the flea tent? Will it ever? Put it in place, and we are in business. Oh, now that is a work of art. Philippe is gonna love it. It's even better than my first paper umbrella tin. It's magnifique! You, Pat Pat, are a star of a car. <laughs> I can perform now! If you'll excuse me, I need to get ready. Sure, see you later! Philippe, he is coming! I am ready for my makeup! I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. Here they are. The plans for your cannon, Katie Cannonball. I hardly know how to thank you, Putt Putt. Uh, just say thank you. Oh, thank you. Can you help me set the cannon up? Normally, I have Ivan help me out, but he's busy getting ready for tonight. I'd be happy to help you with that. Really? Oh, I am too. Thank you. The controls are right over there. It looks like the controls have a lock on them, probably for safety reasons. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Red. Here goes nothing. I mean, a sack of potatoes. Okay, Putt Putt, let's see how it goes. Ta da! Perfection, Putt Putt. Bravo! We did it! No, you did it, Putt Putt. I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, I'd better head for the big top. I don't want to be late. I need to have plenty of time to practice my cannon act. I've got a show to put on. I'll be looking for you, Putt-Putt. See you, Katie Cannonball. Gee, I just got a kiss from a real circus star. Wow! Now all the main acts are ready. Hot ziggity. Mr. B.J. Sweeney's Big Top Circus is all set to open. Welcome one and all to the opening night of the Big Top Circus. 
We have a really big show tonight, and we couldn't have done it without the help of a very special guest, Putt Putt. Gee, thanks. As a special thank you for all he's done for this circus, we are going to let Putt Putt perform under the big top. Pick your pleasure, Putt Putt. When you're done, just come up and push this button to start the rest of the show. Wow, which one should I do?
You really want to quit? Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! 
I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV deck, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history reports and my new school supplies. I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's the coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, my buddy. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted substrate bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy goddamn! This has been happening! In a surprising turn of events, Putt-Putt's dog, Pep, was sucked into Mr. Firebird's new time portal. Stay tuned to Cartown News Update for details. You be careful, Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality. These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. <laughs> That's my gas game. Be the future! I wonder what year it is. Now, 
Aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putty, and I'm visiting from the past. I was just checking out this balloon thing. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, this must be your lucky day. We're giving those balloon makers away free. It's our anniversary. Make as many balloons as your little heart desires. Gee, thanks. For golly sake! Welcome to the Pink Oran 3000, the automated paint director. Scanning process initiated. Thinking process initiated. One ancient toasting device. Hey, it's my lunchbox. Yes, it is a lunchbox. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. 
but you may call me R. T. Bat. Hi, I'm Pepper, and I'm visiting from the past. I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. What if I found you another ancient food container? Then could I trade it for my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! Then that's just what I'll do. One ancient toasting device. It's a new thing. An ancient writing. It's an abacus. An ancient mathematics artifact. That's my balloon maker. Ms. Electra gave it to me. The Future Is Now store is holding a fabulous sale on gadgets and gizmos from now until Sunday. Stock up on batteries for those everyday needs now. And don't miss your chance to join in the fun and pick up your free balloon maker.
Something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up. I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Junior Conductor, any time you want to take a ride around the track, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, 
Where do you want old Toby to take you? Next stop, Gold River.
all-in-one thank yous, Putt-Putt. Now we will be late for story time.
tell me? Ah, yes, you must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away, and like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am! Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. I interrupt you and talk about 
Do you want to play again? Go, 
Getting a little low on produce. How'd you like to do me a favor and go out on the farm and tickle me up some more, huh? Sure. What do you need, Mr. Baldini? 
Well, uh, let me see. I need a one of tomato, a one of yellow corn, and a one of bunch of broccoli. Okay, I can get that. Excellent. You bring them back to me in this box, and I'll give you two of coins, but but. Gee, thanks. I can use the coins, Mr. Baldini. Great. Uh, well, look good luck. It's Cartown Gas. This bottle doesn't belong on the ground. It should be recycled. It's regular gas. I think I'll try a little. A couple more drops will do the trick. and picking me up a tire patch kit. And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a triangle. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. I mean, charged up my tree. Now he can't get down. At least he's got a safety helmet on. It's too high to reach, but maybe I can find something I can use to get him down for you, Mr. Fender Bender. That's a Cracker Jack idea, son. It's a baby kinkajou. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. Maybe I can find out what he eats and then pick it up for you out back out. Jackaroo, you're on. Is that a racing flag? It 
It sure is, Putt Putt. Why? Did you need it for something? I sure do. For the Car Town 500. Go ahead and take it. I don't need it. Okay, then. But first, I'll bring you some food for your baby Kinkajou. He looks hungry. That's a no problem. You go right ahead and I'll just put it on his bill. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. I'm not sure that will work. Hi, Outback Al. Welcome back, matey. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. Oh, and did you need that old racing flag for something? I sure do, for the Car Town 500. It's all yours, Putt Putt. Thanks, Outback Gal. That's really nice of you. Oh, don't mention it. You help me out, I'll help you out. That's what friends are for. Well, this is great. Now I just need to put my official racing number on it. because you alerted me to an emergency. Wow, thanks, Smokey. Believe me, you earned it, Putt-Putt. Enjoy. I hope to see you around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to head back to the station. Bye, Smokey. Fires can be dangerous. I'm sure glad I called 911. It's a picture of a horn. Hmm. 
What was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. A salad is a treat, any time at all. Just get ahead of lettuce all round and in a ball. Break apart the leaves, so fresh and good for you. The lettuce that they grow is the best, I think it's true. Pick that corn. I need one of those for Mr. Baldini. I think I'll pick it. But you 
want that old thing? It's not really working. Do you know what's wrong with it, Torvo? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Gee, thanks. Oh, don't you go mentioning it now. Now, all I have 
to do is go find some scissors so I can cut it out. Excuse me, Betsy Bulldozer. I was wondering if I could borrow your shovel. I need to help Mrs. Airbag, and it would sure come in handy. Ah, oh, you know I'd like to, but I got a heap of work ahead of me today. Only time I ever take a break is to suck down a big old fat milkshake. Of course, I forgot it today, so I'll be missing my break. I have a great idea, Betsy. If I bring you a milkshake, then you can take a milkshake break, and maybe then I could borrow your shovel. But I'm liking it, you're on. Make sure it's a really big one. Okay. into those shelves this morning and nearly twisted my lug nuts. I can hardly bend over to put all that stuff back on the shelf. Oh, don't worry. I can put it back for you. You do that, and I'd be more tickled than a newly tuned turbo engine. After to warn you, though. There's only one way everything fits. Stuff is packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, Mr. Crankcase. I'll remember that. Thanks, I was wondering, Betty. 
Since you're on your break, would you mind if I borrowed your shovel? I need it to help out with the bear bag. You go right ahead. I won't be able to do any work during my milkshake break. Just make sure you return it as soon as you're done so I can get back to work. Okay, Betsy Bulldozer, I will. Thanks.
Next 
time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track. of an old power plant is Sinister Plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my Sinister Plot. This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night. Not so fast, doctors. Well, Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend. And I have some gadgets of my own. Take that! Ah, not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, Sam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. 
Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide when it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam. Now where's my Pajama Sam mask? I need that and my flashlight and my lunchbox. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. Hey, one of my socks! Mom said I should pick these up. This is where I'll put all the socks I find. And here's Rachel. Nothing under here. Can't ask mom and dad for help. I have to handle this by myself. Oh, here's my pajama Sam mask right where it's supposed to be. How did that happen? Now I just need my lunchbox and my flashlight. edition all metal pajama man lunchbox who threw this away i can keep darkness in here after i capture him now i just have to find my flashlight that's pajama man he's my hero Trusty flashlight. Huh? This will help me capture darkness. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness. All right, I'm ready for action. All right, darkness, here comes Pajama Sam. Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? Darkness lives all right. I better go find him before Mom notices I'm gone. Well, there's no turning back now. idea my closet was this big on the inside. Another sock! I better pick it up like Mom said. I should match up these socks. Looks like I need to find a total of 10 pairs of socks.
Hey, a board. It's too far to reach. I guess not. I, um... I think we better to confiscate these items. And they could be dangerous. Hey, I need those. And you're traveling in the skies. Let's see what you really look like. Hmm? My pajama Sam mask. Pajama Sam, eh? Well, all right then, pajama Sam. You can go, but I've got my eye on you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now what do I do? You can borrow that if you like. Uh, thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Yeah, how am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. Another sock! That scary looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll bet that's where I'll find him. Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? <sighs> Look, I I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop to loop. What a fun I had. But then I got rushed. Rushed? Yeah, rust. See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. Is Darkness's house all right? Oh! These are pretty heavy. This basket has enough weight in it already. Wow, physics. These baskets must be the way up into Darkness's house. <laughs> I 
guess I weigh more than one stone. things going down. That looks like one of Dad's socks. I wonder how it got here. According to this clock, it's 11.45. Maybe I should turn on the music again. Well, I guess that's not gonna work. Why aren't you moving anymore? Hello? I saw you dancing. But a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom, but a boom. Okay, I don't see him anymore. Darkness must be right behind this door. Hey, another sock! Another sock. Hi. Hello. My name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Hi again, Otto. Hello, Sam. Can you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no! I can't go in the water, I'd sink! I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats! No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? Straight to the bottom, it's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true.
Uh-oh. I hope that nice tree's not too mad that I lost her rope. At least I got this great piece of wood. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. See, it floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Go on, give it a try. I guess. Well, so far, so good. Well, here goes nothing. I'm floating! Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great! Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! Oh. Let's go sailing! Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing! Okay. Neat! An old hollow log! Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Rats, there's nothing in here at all. Uh-oh, oh, I think I'm stuck. Yes, I'm definitely stuck. I wonder how Pajama Man would handle this. What? Good day to you, fellow tree. Whew, hot in there. Hey, that's my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox over there. Is that my pajama Sam mask? This mask belongs to the people. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness' kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. I guess I better put my ingenious disguise back on. Whoa! Good fortune to you. Thank you, fellow tree. I don't feel so good. That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. It smells like one too. Yeah. <laughs> 
Boom. It's an oil can. And there's some oil in it. Another sock. I can't open this door. There's no knob on it. There's nothing for me to grab onto. well in the sticker bushes. But the current is too strong. I can't get this up there by myself. The current is really strong. We'll need something to help us get up there. If only we had... Sure. Fun. Right. Maybe this might help your wheels. Say, that's good. Now do the back, huh? Ooh, ooh, yeah! Yahoo! Whoopee! I'm king of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid. Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. go back that way. We're gonna have to take the other way out. That's too high. We Back 
gold. Sure is. Can't get it out of there. You're gonna have to find something to mine it with. careful with it here. Yeah? By the way, what is this thing? It's a pickaxe for mining gold. Oh yeah. to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have the small piece, huh? Deal. my stuff before I go get dark. I sure could use a cheese sandwich right about now. this thing. Well, that's a water meter. It says 236. Step right up. Everyone's a winner. Bye. That's... 
Hello, and welcome to The Brain Tickler, the game where you get to show how smart you really are. Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink. But you'll have to answer a few questions first, because as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing The, the Brain Tickler. Let's meet our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. His interests include skydiving, channeling ancient spirits, and stamp collecting. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through the doors of knowledge. He'll be asked questions from four categories. Once he's correctly answered one question from each of the categories, he wins. And we all know what that means, right, Wink? Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today are worms, rocket science, history, and the land of darkness. Let me try worms, please. All right, here is your question. Which worm is a favorite food among mammals, birds, reptiles, and carnivorous invertebrates? Worm grass. I'm sorry. Worm grass isn't a worm, it's grass. The correct answer is mealworm. But don't worry, there are plenty of questions left, so you can try again. That's right, so go ahead and pick a category. Let me try worm. All right, here is your question. How many heads does a worm have? One. I'm sorry, that's not the correct answer. Worms don't have heads. Oh. But don't. Let me try worm. All right, here is your question. What is so great about earthworms? They are very smart. Oh yes, earthworms are smart. Good answer! Wow! That's one category down and three to go! You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. Let me try rocket science. All right, here is your question. How much solid fuel is required to boost a space shuttle into orbit? Around 503,181 kilograms. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> two down, two to go. All right, which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? I'll take history, please. All right, here is your question. What were the giant lizards which ruled the Earth long ago called? Iguanas. No, iguanas are quite small. We were looking for dinosaurs. Oh! But don't w I'll take history, please. All right, here is your question. When was the War of 1812? 1812. That's correct. Although it actually lasted until 1814. You're really on a roll now! Are you ready for your final category? Um, uh, uh... I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? 236. That's absolutely right. You've done your homework. You correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion. Congratulations, Sam. Gee, thanks. Dom Perignon, tell us what he's won. Blink, as the new grand champion, Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. Isn't that fantastic? You mean I could go through right now if I want to? That's right. 
Wow! Thank you for being here with us on The Brain Tickler. Until next time, this is Wink and Blink saying good night. Wink and Blink's wardrobe was provided by the One Coat Paint Company. The doorknob came off. I didn't do it. I barely touched it. The Book of Clues. To see what you have never seen, you must push in only green. Whoa, that looks like a secret door. I don't see any way to open it. I think that did the trick. Well, here we are, burning. I got a sock! Wow, this is like a secret mad scientist lab or something. Give me another sock! Careful. I'm trying to work on the SLF statement of principles and it's getting all wet. Sorry. With his head. Oh, great. This is just what we need. Green. Excuse me. Mmm, <laughs> that's a good marshmallow. Oops, I'm visible. This invisibility potion doesn't last long.
Hey, I like cheese too! Orange. I've become staggeringly intelligent. All the world's knowledge is mine. I can do anything. Except lift my enormous head off the counter. He who understands that he understands nothing. But how can he understand if he understands nothing? Ah! You begin to understand! <laughs> hey! What a ripoff! service. I'm going to have to take some of that for taxes. You can keep this moldy piece of cheese. This must be one of those dumb waiter things that's like a little elevator for food. I bet I could ride this one right back up to the kitchen. I bet I could fit in there. This must go back up to the kitchen. Going up. Open the door since I have another victim. What? I surrender, not ever. Oh, wait. Now I see. You 
soon. Now I've captured that troublesome carapeter guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Oh no, our orange leader was caught. Our fight for our freedom for not we are diminished. Completely finished. Carrot. Hey guys, don't you see he's with me and you're free to go. Free! Yes, free! Free! Uh-huh! Free! 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 I almost forgot this, but you've earned it. You have taken the tide and turned it. You may take this mask and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. Hooray, I finally have my mask. Two more things and I finish my task. That's a no-no. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? We're fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not. In fact, I'm downright downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> Another sock. Hey, oars! It's no use, I can't reach them. I bet Otto could use those. I can't reach it! Nice view from up here. Be careful now. Even nicer view from up here. I still can't reach them. Be careful now, you might break something. I think I need to swing higher. I need to keep swinging! Tell you to be careful. I bet Otto would like these. I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? 
one pound of gold. Here you go. This should be at least a pound. All right, you're clear. Go on across. Havarti! I'm fine, how are you? No, 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 I said Havarti! Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, cheese and crackers is the name of a mm. game, see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe! Tic-tac-who? No, no, this is cheese and crackers. Pay attention. First, you need to choose which you're gonna be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course. Okay, I'll be the crackers. You're trying to get three of your cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. You go first. Oh. Now you move. Whoa, you're as sharp as sharp cheddar. Now you move. Things are looking a little bleak here. Now it's my turn. Darn you one. I'll beat you next time. Hold it! If you're planning on coming back, I'll have to stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. Knob should fit the door. Once again, Pajama Sam saves the day with his mighty brain. The door is stuck. I think the hinges are rusty. These hinges look kind of rusty. I better oil them. That did the trick. My flashlight! Now I just have to get my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox and I'll be all set! Okay darkness, watch out! Maybe these will help with the strong current in that street. Yeah. I bet they will. Thanks. Otto, do you think you could get us over by the bucket now? Yeah. Box. Why call it that when you can't eat it? I beg your pardon? 
Well, it seems very silly to call it a lunchbox when you wouldn't dream of having it for lunch. But your lunch goes in it. Your lunch goes in you, does it not? Perhaps you would like me to call you lunchbox as well. I'm not a box. Ah, too true. Watch out, darkness! Here comes Pajama Sam! Hey, one of my socks! Good day to you!
I realize that's true, but I think Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me. I don't believe I can eat that shit. What did one clover say to the other clover? Take me to your reader. The dumb waiter is off. In the world of sports, here's the seedings for the tournament today. Like to see you. What did one clover say to the other clover? Take me to your weeder. Would you look at the spiral on that baby?
I'd better get going. And 
darkness is house. It's always lunchtime, all the time. Lunchtime, munchtime, crunch time. Chunks of food for I bet, I better get going. Good day to you, fellow tree. Important gravity experiment. Somebody keeps trying to put cheese on my head. A little car saves. button does.
Hello. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sorry, but I, uh, I lost the rope you let me borrow. Rope? Oh, that's all right. I can probably get a new one. You're not mad? Yeah, actually, it's kind of a relief not to have to hold that rope up all day long. That's Darkness's house. Better get going.
between two and three and four. Let's go. Ha <laughs> 
Better get going. Okay, <laughs> this is it. This is the big one. All right, I'm ready. Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam. I have come to vanquish you! Hello, darkness? The closet! He's in the closet! Hey, one of my socks! into darkness's closet and capture him! Watch out, darkness! Here comes Pajama Sam! Darkness? It is 
Sai, Pajama Sam. I've come to vanquish you. Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm gonna capture you and lock you in my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear, no one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any friends? Well, no. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? Do I? I played it with a toaster in the park. It's great. Oh, good. We, we just need some, some, some crackers and, and some tasty cheese. Look at that move, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? What do you know? I defeated darkness! Ooh, I didn't see that one. You win! You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this game. I better go home now, though. My mom might get worried. Okay, maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Okay. Sam, are you all right in there? Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. <sighs> Good night, darkness. Alright, darkness, do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I've come to vanquish you! Vanquish? Is that fun? Pajama Sam is on his way. Whoa! What did you say that thing was called? That's a geyser. Did you see that? Whoa! Whoa! Customs, customs, inspection! Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? Alright, darkness, watch out! Pajama Sam is on his way! Mixing purple, orange, and brown puts curly locks upon your crown! All right, I'm ready for action.
Right there, Earthquaker! Stop that evil doing! Your low calorie threats mean nothing to me! Take that, Captain Skeleton! Your lunch boxes are no match for the foul weatherman. Now we shall take the cosmic eraser, and with it we shall control the world. Not so fast, Dust Devil. Pajama Man. I'll spin you to the four corners of the earth, do gooder. My handy dandy Pajama Man superpower back says different. Pajama Man, you suck. Exactly! Alright! It's okay. It's just a little thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. <laughs> Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening, but I'm scared. <coughs> Someone's got to go upstairs and do something about this weather. This looks like a job for... Pajama Sam! I know I left my Pajama Sam cave around here somewhere. I'd better find it. I've got to be on the lookout for pieces to my puzzle. Hold our kid. Pajama Sam is ready for action. Now I can go upstairs and take care of all this thunder and lightning. Better get upstairs and do something about this. All the weather comes from. Thunder and lightning must work there. I wish I had this, it. it's fun! I 
I wish I had I, I, any bad guys around here at better. But Gemma Sam, champion of justice! Watch out, thunder and lightning! Pajama Sam is coming! Weather employee identification card. Foster Boondoggle. Do not lose this card. Maybe there's a lost and found somewhere where I can turn this in. <laughs> hey, a puzzle piece. I should pick those up. to Worldwide Weather, sir. Thank you. Another one. Some kind of lock. Welcome to the Worldwide Weather Automated Response System. If you know the extension you wish to reach, you may dial it at any time. For our hours of operation or directions to worldwide weather, press 1. To suggest a new kind of weather, press 2. To reach our complaints department, press 3. To talk to an operator, press 0. I'm pretty sure that won't work. I don't think that will do much good. There's one! Nice today. Thanks. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, don't mind them. They're complimentary nuts. I see. Say, 
I don't think this belongs here. I'd better hang on to it until I can figure out where it goes. Ew! Brussels sprout. Pajama Sam, I've come to put a stop to all this thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning? They'd be in the master control room. It's back the way you came. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Do you have an appointment, sir? No. I can't let you back there without an appointment. Hi, do you have a lost and found? No, I'm afraid we don't. Oh, okay. You can't see anyone without an appointment. I'm pretty sure that won't work. I don't mean to intrude, but perhaps I might offer a suggestion. Okay. That is a security door. Regrettable, I know, but we have to keep, shall we say, the less savory elements of society from wandering into the master control room and messing about. Savory? I don't mean you, of course, but you will need an ID card if you want to go in there. Oh, thanks. You're quite welcome. Hard. I hope it wasn't too important. Ouch! I guess that's where they keep the hay. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. Ah! Thunder! Thunder, there's someone in here! Call security! Oh, calm down, would you, dear? It's just a little boy. I'm Pajama Sam! I've come to put a stop to this thunderstorming business. Oh yeah, I think we've really outdone ourselves this time. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, well, actually... I do enjoy a good storm, and it will be so helpful for the plants and things. I never... Primary safety mechanism. Shifting power to backup generators. This is a drop and that's a drop. Adjusting horizontal hold. That should hold it for now. Damage report. Looks like a few pieces have been shaken loose. Oh my gosh! Look at this weather! Hurricanes in Egypt! Tornadoes in Toledo! This is going to take everything we've got. Um, can I help? Help! No one can help! We're doomed! Doomed! Quiet! As a matter of fact, there is something you can do. Lightning and I have important work to do here, so we need you to help fix the weather machine. How do I do that? This is a list of pieces that have come off the machines. We need you to find them and put them back where they belong. Will you do that? Never fear, ma'am. Pajama Sam always helps people in need. Memo to employees for appointment style 8 8 7. Hey 
I found one! <laughs> Memo to him. Welcome to the World Wide Web. Worldwide Mother, how may I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see someone. Certainly, let me check his calendar. Yes, Mr. Someone is available immediately. I'll pencil you in. What is your name? I'm Pajama Sam. I'm oh, helping... Oh, good, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone will see you just as soon as you arrive. Goodbye. Yes, here it is. Go right on in, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone is ready for you. Thanks. Good day, Mr. Sam. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> it's occupied. Ah. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Who sent you? I'm working very hard. You'd be amazed what a difficult job it is being in charge of, 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 of all, all the supplies. I'm sure it is. George, someone sent you over here to, 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 to check up on me, didn't he? He thought you'd catch me not doing my job so he can get that, that big promotion, right? No, nobody sent me over here. Nobody? Uh-huh. Really? Really? Well, <laughs> that's a relief. Another one! <laughs> Can I have a number two pencil? No, I have to keep those in case I have to take a test. I wonder how Thunder and Employee of the Month! Can I have one of these? Absolutely. Take it. Thanks. That was too easy. W well, c can you keep a secret? Sure. I accidentally ordered a thousand of those when I was only supposed to get a dozen. Whoops. I'm trying to get rid of them before anyone notices. Take a few more. Thanks, but I think I really only want one. Oh, all right. a piece of paper? No, the paper is going to be recycled. I could have been a contender. Say, aren't you the Y pipe? Yes, why do you ask? I thought so. I've been looking for you. You have? Why? I'm looking for all the important pieces to the weather machines. Really? Why? So I can put you all back and fix the machines. Why would you want to do that? Because all the weather everywhere is going crazy, and thunder and lightning are in trouble, and, and it's sort of my fault. What did you do to cause all of that? Never mind that now. It's not important. 
You've got to come with me. I'd love to, but I can't get out of this vending machine by myself. Think you could help me out? Pajama Sam never abandons someone who needs help. Thanks, that's good to know. <clears throat> Say, how did you manage to get in there in the first place? It's kind of an embarrassing story. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Well, don't. Okay. I don't think that'll work. I don't think I should do that. I might break it. This is one of those openers that works on cans and bottles. We have one just like it at home. I don't think that'll work. I'm pretty sure that won't work. must be Pajama Sam. Uh-huh. I'm George Someone, the personnel manager. Glad to see you could get here so quickly. No problem. Photo blue. There's one. I beg your pardon? Never mind. We were expecting someone else. Just dust around the picture frames for now. You can vacuum later, when we've finished. Dust? But I... Perhaps we should try to come up with more questions for the employee quiz while we wait for Mr. Hafford. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about this? Who played the monster in the original movie version of Frankenstein? That's not a very business-like question, is it? No, I suppose not. There's one! I guess you're the boss, right? I'm the chairman of the board, yes. Good fortune, dear. Maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. I don't think that will do much good. Excuse me, how come you have a hat in the middle of the table? Oh, we're putting our questions in it. Questions? We're making a quiz to give people when we interview them for jobs. Say, you look pretty typical. How'd you like to help us test the questions? What do I have to do? Just pick questions out of the hat and see if you can answer them. That sounds easy enough. Go ahead and choose a question. Name a sport people do in the snow. Skiing. Yes, people do ski in the snow as well as in the water. All right, you got it. Try another one. Okay. Um, Rick, economics is similar to what other discipline? Hopscotch. Go ahead. Name a song about rain. 
singing in the rain. Yes, very good. Go ahead and choose which season is it when leaves fall off the tree. Autumn. Correct. Autumn, or fall as it's sometimes called, is when the leaves fall off the trees. Good point. Well, I think we've got a pretty good start on our quiz. Thank you very much, young man. You're welcome. Now, on to new business. We have to talk about a color scheme for the executive washroom renovation this spring. Are there any suggestions? What do you guys do, but... How about candy apple red? How come you guys don't have chairs? We should have some... Pretty sure that won't work. That's not gonna do me. There's someone in here. Combines the H2 and the O to make rainwater. Water is made of two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. H2O. Learning is fun! Hmm. I don't think that'll work. This must be where the water. Hi, Snowflake Inspector. You're the automated Snowflake Inspector? No, Inspector Detector. Call me, Sid. It's shorter. You look awfully tired. I'm feeling a bit run down. I need something to eat. Hey, I found one! <laughs>
liquid bath, liquid sunshine. I don't think that w I don't think that'll work. That'll that's li that's liquid sunshine being put in. That's not gonna do me any good. I don't think that'll work. I can't fly. You may call me Langston. Okay, Langston. You can call me Sam. With pleasure. What's in this big book you've got? <gasps> Just snowflakes. That's a lot of snowflakes. Everyone ever made, actually. It's not a very exciting read. I think snowflakes should always be this big.
What's this? They'll be after me gold. Oh boy, I'm rich! Bottles of rain. I wonder how many of these it takes to make a whole thunderstorm. Hello, is somebody out there? Hello, who's there? Why, it's Wingnut, of course. Wingnut? You're on my list. I'm glad I found you. I'll bet. I am the most important piece of the sun machine, after all. Are you stuck down there? No, but I'm kind of lost. You'll have to come down here and get me out. I have to come down the drain? Yeah! Well, okay. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. What's a Pajama Sam?
must be where the wingnut goes. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. the way they are. It's already small too. That's just fine the way that says shrink so. I wouldn't want to break it. That that says shrink -o. be more fun if it went faster. I'm way too small to climb too small to climb up there. I'm way too small to climb that. Big 
another one! It's some big fan? This must be where the Velocimomometer goes! not going to do me any good. I don't think the person inside would like that very much. I'm pretty sure that... Ow. That doesn't look very comfortable. It isn't. Please insert more coins. I haven't got any more coins. Oh, great! <laughs> I don't think I should do that. I might break it. I don't think that will do much. I don't think that will do much. Are you sure you don't have any more coins? Yes. Sorry. I'll think of something. Wow, that's bright! 
Mom always said not to look at the sun. I don't think that will do... I don't think that will do much good. I don't think I should... That's the Y pipe. You know, it's funny how... If Mom were here... I don't want to... What kind? Don't. No. I'll. Is he? What, do you, what rules him? I don't think that'll. I don't think that'll work. down that hole. back to the sun machine. I'm pretty sure that won't work. That look that looks like I'm way too small. I just not gonna do me any I don't think that'll work. How come Here, how would you like an employee of the month ribbon? Oh, uh, thank you. I've already got a fistful of those. I see. How, how would you like a new hat? Thank you, but I much prefer the hat I'm wearing now. I think wing... I'm pretty 
pretty sure that won't I think snowflakes should all I think That wouldn't be very nice. I was thinking... Yes? Wouldn't it be better to use a computer to check all those snow... Rescued wing. Um, 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 I'm too small. I'm too small. I'm pretty sure that won't work. That's not gonna do me any good. Um, 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 what? being put in can. I don't think... Try not to break anything. It's some... It's some... It's some big fan thing. I don't think that will do... That's not gonna do me any good. I've really gotta get... Good. It's a 
vacuum cleaner. buttons to move around. Hey, I found one! <laughs> Here's another one! Here's another one! Hey, I found one! There's one! Another one! I only need to find one more!
I only need to find one more. Yay! Do you want to play again? <laughs> that looks like something on the list of weather machine pieces I'm supposed to find. I think it's part of the velocimometer. Hello? Hello? Velocimometer? Is that you? Yes, I'm scared. It's okay, but Jim and Sam is here to help you. Phew. Uh, do you think you can get down from there? No, I don't think so. Well, never fear. I'll think of something. Thank you. Earthquake in a can. Please recycle after use. I've already got one of those. I wish my head was as hard as a I'm pretty sure that won't work. That wouldn't be... Hey, look at those boxes. I bet I could climb those. H2 
To the wind machine? Sure thing, Velocimometer. You can call me Velo if you want. Okay, Velo it is. I'd better not touch that again. Got to put it where it belongs, on the wind machine, by the big fan. What? 
I wish my head was as hard as a hard hat. That's not gonna do. I don't think the person inside would like that very much. Maybe you could find a way to shake the machine. What a relief! You ever been stuck in a vending machine, Sam? I think I'm a little too big to fit in there. Yeah, uh, I suppose you are. Say, where did you get that great outfit? This? It's my pajamas. I sleep in them. You have special clothes just for sleeping in. <laughs> of course! Why? Because... Oh, well, that's not important right now. We have to get you back to the rain machine. Yeah, I'll bet they miss me. Can you give me a lift? Sure! That's where I need to put Velocimomometer, on the wind machine. Not very interesting stuff, I'm afraid. Oh. I don't think that will... That's not gonna do me any good. I don't... I, I need to return... Substitutes made from plastics. Rock fancier. Train your pet rock to fetch using cheese. Dish soap fancier.
it's cheese, it's cheese, chip. That's not. didn't mean to startle you. You fixed the wind machine. Yes, I did. That's so great. Yes. According to our weather monitors, things are already looking a little better. We wanted to tell you you were doing a good job. Oh, thanks. I'm happy to help. That's good, because there are still three more machines to be fixed. There's plenty to do here as well. those other machines right away. Very good. Bye now. <laughs> Sid, if you're the Snowflake Inspector Detector, does that mean that you're related to the Snowflake Inspector? Not exactly. Here, have some sun. Oh, thanks. That hit the spot. You look much better. Well, I've got to go and find Flaky. I mean, the inspector. He needs me. I'm looking for him too. Maybe we could look together. I can do the detecting if you'll carry me with you. Okay. That big funnel bottles the wind from that fan of me. Okay, here we are. Time to go back to work. Do I have to? Of course you do. Why? Because if you don't, then the rain machine won't work and we'll run out of rain. So? So, we need rain. It's good for plants and stuff like that. I know. I was just having fun with you. Why? Well, because... Gotcha. What do you know? I guess you did. All right, put me back in the machine already. Sam? Well, young man, I see you've fixed another weather machine. That's right. I brought the wide pipe back to the rain machine. The weather is already starting to get better. Yes, the sandstorms at the South Pole have calmed down a lot. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good work. Okay, I've just got two more machines to go. Good. Keep us informed of your progress. Goodbye now. The inspectors, the, ins the inspectors nearby. I'm pretty sure that won't work. Calder, the inspectors are.
Not a moment too soon, I see. Boy, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes without everything getting all out of whack, can I? Hmm? Oh, sure, that's right, Wingnut. Yeah, you must be the most important guy here. Oh. There, that looks better already. What would we do without you? You know, it actually does look better. Yeah. Hello, Sam. I wish you'd stop sneaking up on me like that. Sorry, Sam. We wanted to say we're very impressed with the way you've been fixing the weather machine. Thank you. At this rate, we'll have everything ship -shaped before anyone even notices anything was wrong. Hang on for a second, Sam. That's our call waiting. Mother Nature! What on earth is going on over there? Eep! Uh, nothing. Everything's under control. Don't hand me that claptrap. I read your incident report. You left out one or two things. Uh, what things would those be? Well, for example, why isn't there any snow on the Alps? My ski vacation starts tomorrow and there's no snow. When I get there, I want some answers! Oh boy... Mother Nature is coming! Here! Is that bad? It could be. If everything's not perfect by the time she gets here, we'll be in big trouble. The files are all hopelessly out of date! What are we going to do? We'd better get to work updating them right away. I'll fix the snow machine. Thank you. And Sam? Yes? Please hurry. <laughs> How do you like that? Not even a word about my performance. Typical. It says UV filter. Whatever that means. Colder. I think snowflakes should always be this. The inspector. Yes, we've got to finish this PD paperwork before she gets here. Sam? Yes? Have you fixed the snow machine yet? Not yet, but I'm working on it. It's got to be done before Mother Nature gets here. We could lose our jobs. You can count on me. Thank you, Sam. Here, this is for you. Employee of the month? <laughs> I don't think that either of us deserves that. Not this month, anyway. But thank you, Sam. That's very sweet of you. Sure, that won't 
I'm pretty sure that won't work. They said they didn't want it. Is someone gonna eat that donut? Yes. The inspector's not anywhere near. Huh? Calder, the input. Calder. Calder, the inspector's fu- I gotta find- The inspector's fu- You look- <laughs> But I never have anyone to play with- The inspe- The inspector's far away from the- The inspector's far away from this room! Warmer! What? The inspector's not... The inspector's not anywhere near here! What? Hey, Mr. Calder? Calder? Sure I can't... Warmer! I'm pretty sure that w that wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> Warmer! The inspector's not anywhere near here. Warmer! The inspector's not anywhere near here! Warmer! The inspector! Calder! I, 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 I wonder how thunder and lightning... Calder! That won't work. The inspector's not. The inspector's not. The inspector's not anywhere near here. How would you like a? Warmer. I don't think that will... Warmer! The inspector's around! How's it go? It's some bit.
told her? I don't think that'll work. That wouldn't be very nice. Out of the machine, the machine is out of those seeds. The machine is out of those seeds. The machine is out of those seeds. The, 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 the machine is out of those seeds. is out of those seeds. The, ma the machine is out of those seeds. I don't want to break it. That's not going to do me in the in 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 inspectors. <laughs> that wouldn't be very nice. Older. The inspector's not. That's not gonna do me any good. I'm pretty sure that won't. The inspector. I think snowflakes should always be this big. Um, 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 wait, um, um, wait. Too small to climb up there. I just that looks high, Wingnut. How's it going? Everything's cool now that I'm here. I've, al I've already um. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the I'm way too small. The MC inspectors. I'm pretty sure that won't work. I'm too I'm too small to climb. That's it. The inspect. The inspector's not. I I gotta find those missing machines. <laughs> many of these it takes to make a whole thunderstorm. He's in this room! He's in this room! Move! He's in this... He's in this room! He's in this...
Warmer! I don't think that will do much good. Hi, Sam. The machine is out of those seats. Older, the inspectors are working. Older. That'll work. I don't think that'll work. Warmer. They said they didn't want it. Call the inspector. The inspector's not anywhere near here. I'm pretty sure that won't work. That wouldn't be very nice. I don't think that'll work. But I'm pretty sure that will Calder. Calder. That, that's the that's where the snow That wouldn't be very nice. That 
that's not gonna do me any good. <laughs> the inspector. <laughs> the inspector's. That's not gonna do me. Any that's not gonna do me. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. That wouldn't be very nice. I'm pretty sure that won't work. The inspector's far... The inspector's far away from this room. The inspector's far away from this room. Hello, hello, hello again. Are you all through? Airline food fancier. Cheese substitutes made from plastic. Hello again. Are you all through here for today? Nope, not yet. Your skin. That's not going to do me any good.
get some. Have you fixed the s Hey, that one looks sunny. I know. Unfortunately, that's Seattle. No, oh, what a mess. <laughs> Memo to him. Warmer! The inspector's nearby. I don't think that'll work. That, that, li that liquid. That, 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 liquid sun. I Older. The inspector's not... I'm pretty sure that won't work. Calder. I I gotta find those missing machine pieces. I 
wonder how Thunder and Lightning are doing. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that will do much good. That's not gonna... Hey, fella. I don't think that... I'm pretty sure that... Warmer! The inspector's near... I don't think that'll work. I'm pretty sure that won't work. I don't think... Miserably. My tie has lost its pep and I can't... I think Snow... How are you holding up? Wretchedly. My vest is wrinkling and bunching up. How are you... Are you sure you wouldn't like an employee of the month ribbon? Positive. Folder, the, inspe the inspector's not...
views of worldwide weather are located directly upwards from your home or place of work, and we are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including holidays. Please call ahead for appointments. Thank you for calling Worldwide Weather. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Um, what about room temperature snow for the summer? Oh, we've already got that. It's called mud. I never thought of that. Thanks for your call. You're welcome. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Cherry-flavored rain! Cherry-flavored rain, eh? That's a pretty good idea. I'll put it on the list. Thanks for your call. You're welcome. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? How about weather where the air gets thick so you can swim in it? You've obviously never been to Los Angeles. Well, no, but... Thanks for your call. Sure. make yourself right at home. Our tour guide is out sick today, but feel free to look around. Our tour guide is out sick today, but feel free to look around.
There are complimentary nuts in the lobby. Can I have a piece of paper? No, the paper is going to be recycled. Paper clip? No! Somebody might need them! I don't think that will do much. I'm pretty sure that will- Calder! Sure I can't- What is about how to have meetings? Very well put. I shall have to remember that. We still need to decide on a color scheme for the executive washroom renovation this spring. I'm pretty sure that won't... That's not gonna do me any... I don't think that will do much good. That's not gonna do me any good. Again, are you all through here for today? Nope, not yet. All right then. That wouldn't be very nice. I'm pretty sure that won't. I don't think that'll work. Warmer. The inspector's not. <laughs> Rock fancier. Train your pet rock to... Tickles. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I see no one has eaten the donut yet. We're saving it. For later. Oh. That's not gonna do me any good. How's the... I gotta find those missing machine pieces. Memo to employees. Hello, Complaints Department, Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. And my back, oh, I'm starting to get a sharp pain in my lower back from sitting in this stiff chair. Um... Thank you for calling the Complaints Department. Hello, Complaints Department, Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. 
My next door neighbor plays his stereo so loud it's curdling the milk in my refrigerator and all my cats are scared to come home. Thank you for calling the complaints department. Hello, complaints department, Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. This morning I tried to buy some candy from the vending machine in the lunchroom and it got stuck and wouldn't come out. I hate it when that happens. Thank you for calling the complaints department. Thank you for calling the complaints department. We are now on strike on account of I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome from picking up the phone all day long. Thank you for calling. in this room! Uh. 
Flaky, or I mean, Inspector, it's nice to see you. Hello, Sid. This is Pajama Sam. He helped me find you. Hi. Delighted. Well, I'm sure glad we found you. You've got to come back to the snow machine with us right away. No way. No way. I'm not going back there. They don't appreciate me. This could be a problem. Don't worry. I'll think of something. of the month! Employee of the month? Me? <laughs> they like me! They really like me! They sure do! I'm so happy! I can't wait to get back to my post and all those wonderful snowflakes! I'll take you there if you like! Would you? Gee, Sam, that would be great! You've made him very happy. Thank you. You're welcome. Will you be coming with us to the snow machine? You'll go on ahead. I'll catch up. Will you be coming? I'm pretty sure that will I don't think that'll work. Inspector! Are you uh, coming back to work? Oh, yes! Then I'm so glad to see you. And I, you! Attention, all personnel. The president is arriving. This is not a drill. Quick, everybody, get back to work! Mother Nature! Heavens! Do I look alright? How's my tie? I don't know. We've got to stall her. We'll think of something. Mother Nature, how nice to see you. Cut the chit chat, Thunder. I'm making a full inspection of the facility. And I'm warning you, if everything isn't absolutely perfect, you're both in deep trouble. What's this? <gasps> Mother Nature, you haven't seen my slides from my trip to Cleveland. I'll try to live with the disappointment. Let me see those monitors. What's going on? Hmm. It looks like everything is working just fine. It is? Of course it is. And who might you be? I'm Pajama Sam! He's the little boy who... Uh, he's our handyman, that's who. Keeps everything running smoothly. I don't know where we'd be without him. I'm happy to report that all the weather machines are working perfectly. Hmm. All right then. Thunder, lightning! <laughs> Keep up the good work. We're not fired? Uh, certainly not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get to the Alps. Sam, thank you so much for all your help. You fixed the last machine just in time. You saved our job. And the weather is all back to normal. Does that mean it'll be stormy at my house again? Yes. In fact, how would you like to take the controls for a little while? Me? Control the weather? Sure! 
This controls how much rain there is. And this one is a volume control for the kaboos! Oh boy! My name's Art. Oh, <laughs> 
The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Dean 47, Grand Smite, and Pierre Le Pen. What's this? Huggers and a sweet just march through the headlands! War, I tell you! No, General, wait! Oh, better find those delegates and get them here as fast as I can!
Thank you. You're welcome. 
You're not looking for work, are you? No. Good. I've got enough troubles as it is. I'm supposed to sort everybody out with this new BCS 4000 bean counter sorter machine, but I don't even have a manual to tell me how to put it together. Oh dear, oh dear. Thank you. 
Yeah, we're guarding the uh, entrance. This entrance right here. We're guarding it. I see. You don't want to get into trouble. Um, look at Sweet Potato. Where is that? I don't see anybody. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the A complex, Mr. Mr. Gord, very good. Oh yes, that's that's very good. I think I'll just go on in here now. Oh, it, that's. Oh wait a minute, it's Gord's only, right? Yes, and he's a Gord, so I guess that.
book for three weeks. After that, the fine is four hundred dollars a day. Wow, that seems like kind of a lot. Just have the book back in three weeks. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The beam could find number 47. The kidney beans go on one side, and the jelly beans go on the other.
despite your being number 47. So you've got to represent us at the peace conference. It's a great honor! You better take this hat, in case there's any confusion. Thank you, Foreman! I'll be on my way immediately! That's two down, two to go! Good work, Sam, and good luck! Thanks! Is that 
for my favorite part. We get to eat some cheese? No, we get to blow the horn of celebration. I do it every time I get the answer to one of my questions. Since you helped me so much, perhaps you would like to do the honors. Oh boy, would I?